Good morning everyone. My name is John Mark M. Pantil from Group 12 and this is our report. This is the part 1 of our report. Marine Ecosystem Evolution in a Changing Environment Marine ecosystem are increasingly under pressure from the activities of a man and are consequently changing. Climate change may lead to large-scale change in climate patterns. Ocean circulation and climatic variables such as temperature and light and simultaneously. Combination of a direct astrogenic drivers such as fishing. Aerotrophication and pollution impact on marine ecosystem. The primary goal of MEECE was to improve the knowledge based on marine ecosystem and input the development of innovative tools for understanding and accessing good environmental status or GES. In marine waters in European regional seas to inform the implementation of the MSFD, the implementation of the Marine Strategy Framework Directive requires members to state the developed strategies to achieve a healthy marine environment and make ecosystem more resilient to climate change in all European marine waters by 2020 at the latest. Project Context and Objectives Marine ecosystems are increasingly under pressure from the activities of a man and are consequently changing. For example, climate change may lead to large-scale change in the climatic patterns. Ocean circulation and climatic variables such as temperature and light. Enhanced atmospheric carbon dioxide or CO2 levels will live lead to acidification of the ocean with significant impacts on the ocean, biochemistry, planktonic ecosystem, and potentially the reproductive success of a higher tropic levels, the changing survival rates of larva stage of metazones and fish. This change will all impact on the overall tropic structure and function of marine ecosystem. Simultaneously, combination of direct atropogenic drivers such as fishing, atropication and pollution impact of both an organism's small and population level terribly influencing the incompetitive ability and dominance of key species and thus the structure of marine ecosystem. Finally, the introduction of alien invasive species that has the potential to structure marine ecosystem a mechanism of changing which has the potential to be exacerbated with key species are already under stress due to the combined effects of abiotic and biotic stressor. In many regions, these activities are acting on the ecosystem simultaneously, potentially leading to additive, synergistic, or antagonistic effects ultimately if we do not understand how the ecosystem responds to combination of these drivers either the past or the future we will find it very difficult to manage marine ecosystem in the future aquatic ecosystems aquatic ecosystems comprise the largest portion of the biosphere and include both freshwater and marine ecosystems the sources of organic matter in these systems can be both internal autochthonous and external autochthonous. In general, the autochthonous material has a higher available end concentration and is structurally easier to decompose than the, than the autochthonous plant residues. Decomposition in aquatic ecosystems follows similar patterns as in terrestrial environments. It involves leaching, fragmentation, and chemical alteration. Though with some major differences due to the aquatic environment, a major form of organic matter in aquatic ecosystem is the particulate organic matter or the POM. POM can come both from autochthonous and allotinous sources. The, allo the allotinous sources include terrestrial leaves and small twigs which are usually colonized by fungi and fra fragmented by shredders leading to the formation of POM. Autochthonous POM is derived from the fragmentation of dead organisms and other organic material. POM is partly ingested, digested, and mineralized by organisms 
and microorganisms before settling on the bottom. The remaining organic matter that reaches the bottom is further broken down by bacteria both through aerobic and anaerobic processes. Another important component of organic matter in aquatic ecosystems is the dissolved organic matter or the DOM. Major sources of DOM in the water column are exud exudates and excreted by macroalgae, phytopla phytoplankton, and zooplankton, and otolysis. The remains of phytoplankton and zooplankton DOM is taken up by bacteria and converted into bacterial biomass without undergoing any breakdown into inorganic compounds. This bacterial biomass is later consumed by the zooplankton which in turn excretes nutrients in the form of exudates, contributing to a significant portion of the suspended material in water column. Bacteria then take these exudates, even at a very low concentration, to obtain both carbon and nutrients and the new cycle starts, thus in contrast to terrestrial ecosystems. Bacteria in aquatic systems act as a converters rather than as a decomposers, whereas phytoplankton and zooplankton play major roles in the release of available nutrients. Freshwater ecosystem Freshwater ecosystem include the living organisms and non-living materials. Of inland waters include lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, swamps, and wetland. Freshwater ecosystem has undergone substantial transformation over time, which has impacted various characteristics of the ecosystem. Original attempt to understand and monitor freshwater ecosystem were spurred on by threat of human health. For example, cholera outbreak due to the sewage contamination. Early monitoring focused on chemical indicators were bacteria and finally algae, fungi, and protozoa. There are three types of freshwater ecosystem, lentic, lotic, or wetlands. A lentic is a slow-moving water including pools, ponds, and lakes. Example, pond ecosystem refers to the freshwater ecosystem where are there communities of organisms that are dependent on each other and with the prevailing water environment for their nutrients and survival. The second one is lotic. Lotic is faster moving water like stream and rivers. For example, river ecosystem. River ecosystems are flowing waters that drain the landscape and include the biotic interaction amongst plants, animals, and microorganisms, as well as biotic, physical, and chemical interaction of its many parts. Lastly, wetland. Wetland are areas where the soil is saturated or inundated for at least part of the time. For example, is wetland ecosystem. A wetland is a distinct ecosystem that is flooded by water, either permanently, like for a year or decade, or seasonally for weeks or months. Wetland are considered among the most biologically diverse of all ecosystems serving as home to a wide range of unique plant and animal species.